Raul, thank you. So you know you can't talk about Encinitas in San Diego without talking about Hanson's. And now get this. They're celebrating 55 years in San Diego. If you've ever been to the shop, it's huge and you need possibly you can get anything that you need to go to the beach inside the store. So with me today are the kids, the Hanson kids, Josh, Christian, Heidi, my neighbors. <laughs> How's it going, you guys? I mean, I'm definitely in your stuff, shop at least like once a week, um, to say the least. Congrats, first of all, yes. to you and your dad. So your dad started this 55 years ago. Why did he decide to start the shop? Um, well, I think that uh, he was in a basement went in college looking at surfing magazines and decided to move to California and uh, started surfing and then he was just a young entrepreneur and decided to go for it. You know, when you look at the shop now, a lot has changed. I think even in the past year, we've gone through some renovations and you have this huge boardroom now. Um, but how did it all start? What did it look like when you guys were little ones and dad was kind of building up the Hanson's reputation? Well, actually, the first shop was the Kraken right across the street no, from Cardiff. No, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. so that was the I first shop. That. And then he built the square cement building right across the street from the Union Restaurant on mm -hmm. J Street. So that was 1966. How cool. So. Yeah, that's, awesome. that's how I we started that. it. And Are you guys kind of happy with that, what everything looks like today? I know yes. you guys have had a huge expansion and uh, mm -hmm. having a good time now. Uh, how are you going to celebrate as far as, I know there's a big party happening. I might want to um, come out and enjoy. <laughs> of course, we're going to have some beers out there, some wine. There's going to be live music by Austin Burns. And it's just going to be a great time tonight. And everybody's welcome to come. Celebrating 55 years and we're very very happy to have uh, have it this long and maybe another 55 years to come yeah let's you know? hope so let's yeah. hope so you know people in san diego they love surfing they love being able to stop by and get whatever they need and you know what you know what else loves it is the tourists coming in because you can get kind of that key shirt or you know memorabilia that you want to go home with as well so it's kind of a win-win for everyone josh not only um has the shop been good but surfing has changed so much in San Diego. I know you're always getting out in the water. Um, just looking at the boardroom and the boards that you guys sell, explain the difference from what you guys have had to, to sell in the shop and how surfing has changed. Well, I mean, board shapes have changed yeah. immensely over the years. Obviously, these are boards from the early and middle 60s. Wow. Now we sell probably more short boards than long boards. Um, way more short borders in the in the water and and more recently stand-up paddle boards the sweepers out there yeah. you know stand-up paddle boarding has become a big deal and that's actually spread throughout the whole country so all the landlocked people now are on surfboards even behind boats now all my friends in Montana, they're all surfing behind the, the, the boats crazy? on really small surfboards. Yeah, Mission Bay, too. A lot of people are doing the totally. wake the wakeboarding and all of that, or wake surfing, wake they're calling surfing, it. Yeah. I know, uh, Alan's, Alan's correcting me there. <laughs> um, you know what's even cooler is um, in Texas, they now have um, something similar to Kelly Slater's wave, where literally, I mean, you're in like a cement pond there, and they've created this really cool wave you can surf. What would your dad say about this right here? I think we have some video of it. He would be he would be pretty intrigued. I mean, it's so <laughs> like foreign, I guess, to just create a perfect wave that you can just, you know, a wave comes every couple minutes and it's just a perfect barreling yeah. wave for a couple hundred yards. And that's that technology is 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 has come a long ways. He would definitely be impressed. I think it's like it's a beautiful thing for you know the athletes to get to practice on. Absolutely. But it takes Mother Nature out of the sport, which I think is kind of the whole point of the sport. Wouldn't some of the purists kind of say that? For sure. But yeah. I think you know, like from a fr from the perspective of the sport, progression now will be sure. a, a like it'll just you know it'll it'll be much quicker. Yeah. So. You know, I, th I think it'll be good for the sport. A lot of talented people in the water. If you're on any beach in uh, San Diego absolutely. County, you know that they are. And the waves are only going to get bigger as November rolls around. Um, yep. If you're looking for oh, a yeah. big wave board, I think you know where to get one. <laughs> um, if you guys want to party with these folks, 55 years celebrating in Encinitas, go to fox5sandiego.com. Click on the Scene On tab for more information. Rob, I'll toss it back to you for now.